Milestone 5. Uh, for Milestone 5, uh, what you will do is essentially bringing up... Oh. For Milestone 5, what you do is uh, essentially bringing what you have done in Milestone 2 up with all the files that you have done and you put it together all the uh, two and four four is all the engine and two is the skeleton you put them together and you start actually bringing the actions of milestone two to life so what you do uh, uh you're gonna add the the uh, features that are at that, that are asked over here to parking so some of the things that you see and always remember this is extremely open-ended which means if you think you need to add certain type of member variable to make something work, by all means, okay? As long as the, the access, which means the pu public functions of parking are kept with, in the, with the exact same signature, then there is absolutely no problem, okay? You can do anything you want. So... You need to, uh, so uh, every parking module that, that you deal with, it has a maximum number of parking spots. That is a constant value that we, that we add. It cannot go more than that. Uh, so uh, it will have number of spots created. Uh, it, it will have number of spots that it can actually provide. So that's what you do, but it doesn't go up to more than a certain number. So that's going to keep track of how many spots your, uh, your, uh, you, you want me to make it big? Well, when I make it bigger, it goes, scrolls it up. Milestone 5. There you go. So you add an integer property uh, for the number of spots. This is always less than the maximum number of spots that you have. Okay? Uh, then you have parking spots that is an array of vehicle pointers. So what happens, you're gonna have an array of pointers of type vehicle, and these arrays of pointers will point to an actual vehicle if a vehicle is parked there, okay? That's what it does. So essentially the index of the array plus one is the parking spot number. So if a vehicle is parked in index zero, that vehicle is in parking spot one. If a vehicle is parked at index nine, the vehicle is parked at spot 10, okay? And you keep that inside vehicle. So later on you can load it. Additional recommended things, number of parked vehicles. So it's a good idea to keep track of number of parked vehicles, which means actually how many parked uh, uh, cars are in the parking spot, in the parking, okay? The constructor receives a data file and the number of spots, okay? And it starts, uh, so, what it, well, so what it does, the constructor, uh, uh, so the, the, uh, the number of uh, spots, um, uh, it sets the number of spots that you have inside the, um, uh, the parking and the data file in which all the car parked cars are saved into. So your, this application is a stateful application, which means if you exit it in a certain way, it will keep the data. And next time you run it, it remembers what it had before, and it can continue. So when the program ends, it doesn't lose its data. It actually keeps the data inside a file. Obviously, you can save it in a way to wipe everything up, and that's, and that's one of the objects. Okay? So, uh, yeah. The, restraint, the restrictions and the things that it has, please read the details and go through it. I'm just having an overview over it. So, this is essentially how it works. If this is the array that you have of vehicle pointers, 
and we can touch this parking this parking can park two different types of vehicles a motorcycle and a car that's it nothing else okay only allowed are in here okay so as you see because these are all vehicle pointers they can hold the objects of type car or motorcycle and as you see spots one two one and two are full now spot three that is null doesn't have a vehicle in it then spot four and five are full with a car and a motorcycle six is empty again and it keeps going right to the end right to the number of spots okay so when a new vehicle comes in you just don't add it to the array you will start from the beginning of the array and check the vehicle pointers one by one let me use the pointer instead of my finger because that's recorded so you check the uh, you check the uh, vehicle pointers one by one and you keep going as soon as you get to the very first one that is null that's the place that the pointer is going to be kept in and therefore the parking spot will be set to three in this case and the next car comes in it's going to keep checking the next one will be six it parks it over there got it and you keep going like that if you go through the whole array and you reach to the ma to the number of spots if you go through the array you reach to the number of spots and there are no null pointers it means your parking is full so it's just a loop if you don't hit anything you just say that the parking is full and when the car wants to get off get out of the thing how it's going to be it's i think it's through its license plate so you enter the license plate it searches through the thing finds which one uh, uh has that license is that is that how i did it it's license plate I, license plate. so you enter the license plate it searches through it and returned and takes that one out of the parking spot and issues a ticket so the valet can go and bring it okay so it actually says uh, the vehicle in number six number so it actually shows which spot it was in and uh, makes that one null it means the parking spot becomes available and that's now of course if there is no uh, license plate uh, no li none of the cars match the license plate then uh, that's it uh, you will say that the car is not parked here that's all that's the system now of course we have something that says list all vehicles one of the things one of the options so when the program runs the options you have did i what am i running oh sorry i'm running ms4 by mistake that's not the one is it compiling shoot okay sorry i'm going to run ms5 set as startup project okay so when you run ms uh, when you run the the application okay so in here it says so park vehicle is essentially looking for that null in the array and so when it says park vehicle you're going to ask the uh, ask the thing what type motorcycle or, or car if user says car if the user says car then you instantiate a car in the vehicle pointer if the user says motorcycle you create a motorcycle in the vehicle pointer and you read it and all the information is set except the parking spot parking spot you will set when you are parking the car which part of the array it's going to go into and then you park the car okay obviously you can go through it and, and you'll see yeah, that's exactly what it is return the vehicle again so parking is like that so when i park a car and at the top it says available spots one how did it find it it counted the number of nulls inside the array there is only one null therefore there's one available spot and now in here i'm going to say uh, park the vehicle now it's going to say what do you want to park i'm going to say i'm going to park a car okay car information entry license plate is uh, gv uh, cc um, 234 okay and make a model is tesla model three okay car wash so it's asking if you want to do car wash you will say yes so i want this to be car washed then it's going to actually print the ticket okay and it's going to say i parked it this press enter to continue is not mentioned in the documentation okay 
you should figure it out that you should actually have a function that says press enter to continue and it does a, a get line in it for a thousand characters and a backslash n or something or ignore sorry ignore up to backslash n so it doesn't it ignore up to backslash n it simply waits for a user to enter press enter to show the rest of the things so the user press enter. Sorry, yeah, there you go. Okay, so user presses enter, and then it continues and shows the rest. So now available spots is zero. Now I want to uh, 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 return a vehicle. I'm going to press two. And I think one of them is XZXC, because yesterday somebody was asking. And I hit enter, so it's going to say, there you go, motorcycle. So returning vehicle top motorcycle parking spot number seven license for this and it's a ninja 650. it's out of the parking and i press enter to continue now i have one spot available again okay so list the part uh, all the part it literally goes through all the not non null values in the array and prints them one by one okay so all the vehicles, and as you see, spot number seven, for example, is open now. You see six, seven, eight, so seven is open. So there's nothing in there. And press enter to continue. Okay. Now, if I say exit program, what it's going to do is saving everything and going out. Okay. So when I press six over here, it saves, it says, uh, this will terminate the program. Are you sure? I'm going to say yes and hit enter. And as it, and this is my tester, okay? So the tester, my tester, the one that I gave you to test, shows you, shows all these stuff and says restore to original value, which means if you want to retest it to make sure everything is good, it brings the data file back to normal. That's not going to be in the submitter test. In submitter test, it's just going to go through it. Nothing's going to be restored. Okay? So submitter test is not going to do that. It's just because I kept mentioning to students, you can restore the data back to test it, and for some reason, people don't understand that. I did it myself. So if you do yes, it's going to restore. I don't want it to restore. So I'm going to say no, don't restore it. It goes out. OK, so now if I run the program again, what happens is that you open up the file. You start when you actually, the parking is getting created and receives the data file. It starts loading out the data. How does it load the data? It goes through the file and starts from the first one. It, it has an array of vehicles. It reads the first character of the record. If the first character of record is an M, it's going to instantiate a motorcycle in a vehicle pointer. If it's a C, it's going to instantiate a car in a vehicle pointer. After it instantiates it, it tells to the vehicle, read yourself in a comma separated value from the data file. Because the read you already implemented in milestone four, it's virtual, automatically the proper read will be called either car or motorcycle. It's going to read the record right to the end and put it in there. And then you go to the next one and you keep doing that. But when you put this, where you put this one in the array, you look for the parking spot that you are reading. If the parking spot is 3, you're going to put that vehicle in the index 2. Okay, so whatever the parking spot is, you put it in that index. And you're done. One by one, you read to the end. And when you cannot read anymore, you're at the end of the, the data file. And remember, if you don't have a data file, it's good. It means uh, the uh, parking is brand new. It's early in the morning, nobody's there, and you're, you just started the... Uh, the thing so no data is okay okay but bad data is bad so if you if you if your car fails to fails to read its data halfway through then something's bad but anyways it all explained over there and um, yeah so the last thing that uh, uh, you will do will be this so essentially if you actually uh, exit the close so, so if I now go three it's gonna list all the things and now if I, if, I, if I click over here, 5, it means it's 10 o'clock at night. You want to close down the parking. And because this is not an overnight parking, you're going to call the tow, tow company to come tow all the cars that are in there. 
So all the cars are going to be towed out. Okay? So you're going to say close parking end of day. And when you do that, okay, this will remove and tow all the remaining vehicle from the parking. Are you sure? I'm going to click yes. And it lists all the cars that are supposed to be towed out. And it's going to say towing request and this, uh, the, num the vehicles that are there. And after that, everything's gone. As you see, nothing is shown in here. It wipes out the data from the file. How do you wipe out the data from a file? You open the raw call file for writing and then close it. Open the file, not for, for overwriting, okay? For, if you open for out, it, uh, it uh, opens it and wipes it, right? So that's it. Restore no. So now this is the case that if I actually run the program, I have nothing. And that is perfectly good. And it's going to tell me I have available spots of 10. So I, have, I can actually put data in here, okay? That's it. That's your project. And find vehicle. You already have the function for it. Just reuse it. You want to know where the car is. You simply put a license plate number. It, it shows you. The, it searches. If it finds a match to the, to the license plate, uh, then uh, you show it. If it's not, you say car not found. Simple. Uh, I had down to this point, five people booking an appointment for me for Milestone 5, telling that they don't have access, license plate is private, and I cannot access it. How can I find out which license plate? In Milestone 3, when you created vehicle, you overloaded the equality operator, double assignment, operator equal equal, that test checks the vehicle against the license plate and returns true or false. Use that. Okay. You already did that. So you, if you put a constant string and compare the vehicle with it, it automatically checks the license plate. So you do have access to license plate. And that's it. Any questions about milestone five? Are we good? All right. So now I'm going to say exit again. Yes. And this time I will restore it. All right. So now if I run it again, I'm going to have only one bar parking spot available, and I can redo my tests again and again. Okay? The sequence of the milestone steps that I put over there are from easy to hard. Okay? So if you see option three is first, I don't know which one I did. That's the easiest one. Start with that. Okay? Don't start with the menu. Like if the first one is parking, don't do that. Okay? Start with the thing. So the first one is the easiest one, and then it keeps going hard. Okay. Uh, any questions? Suggestions? Objections? All right. And